respected teachers namaste to all today we are going to discuss about portfolio activity 18 module 18 and the title is understanding rights child sexual abuse and the postco act 2012 then our portfolio activity is what can you do to prevent child abuse especially child sexual abuse in your school describe any three measures that you can take to prevent child sexual abuse before going to child sexual abuse first we have to know about abuse what is abuse children they are having so many rights when a right is taken away or violated it is called abuse then child abuse abuse simply explained therefore it is a violation of right when the victim is a child it is recognized as child abuse then types of abuses physical abuse emotional abuse sexual abuse and neglect out of these four we have to go in detail about the sexual abuse what is sexual abuse it is one of the worst form of violence against children and has a very high incident so the schools must therefore ensure the safe environment for children and must be able to track and notify the competent authorities if any such situation is identified ways to prevent child sexual abuse in schools school authorities have primary responsibility for the care and welfare of their students school must ensure a safe environment for children have clear procedures and programs for children protection in the school give directions to school management teachers and staff regarding the identification and response to the child protection concerns and the continued support of the child designate a person responsible for child protection issues who has the specific skills common motivation and knowledge required monitor the progress of children considered to be at risk contribute to the prevention of child abuse through curricular provision provide or access training for teachers and members of the management team to ensure that they have a good working knowledge of child protection issues and proceedings develop a culture of being an ethical bystander standard create a violence free school environment by encouraging staff and students to develop healthy and full relationship skills teach them some basic safety precautions teach sexual violence prevention ethical relationships in schools and early childhood education ensure students receive this education every year at inter and high school level talk to your students about good touch and bad touch don't show any gender discrimination form child protection committees with the help of community at village level encourage child children to be the boss of their own body and to trust their own intuition encourage children to talk about what's bothering them like listening and talking their concerns seriously implement vetting processes the keen observation vetting means keen observation develop a thriving children pack for new parents to the school which focuses prevention information contact numbers local help services phone numbers etc are there in that thriving children pack it is very helpful to save the children include education about sexual abuse prevention in online offline environments stay connected with the child's online life checking with your child on things like sleepovers sports and so on don't be afraid to act to protect a child communication is the most important principle in keeping students safe from sexual abuse teach your student the basics such as no one has the right to touch my body preventive measures for child sexual abuse in schools primary prevention work is done with the whole of the community to help create an environment where child sexual abuse is likely to happen and more likely to be detected quickly when it does by putting up posters and magnets in staff rooms and learning environments take part in any network of social service organizations or community networks set up to share information about 
child sexual abuse prevention increase child and and children to protect their personal information online and talk with them about their digital footprint have clear written processes in place of con- concerning action to be taken where allegations are received against school employees by keeping a complaint box schools are one of the few places in which children are seen at most daily educators have a chance to see changes in appearance and behavior from classroom teachers to guidance counselors as well as social workers nurses psychologists and administrators everyone become an integral part of the educational team to help children who might be facing difficulties implement school based education programs the aim of this program is providing students with the knowledge and skills to recognize and avoid potentially sexually abused situations and with the strategies to hinder sexual approaches by offenders mobilize the community about the nirbhaya disha act and pasco act 2012 etc prevention is better than cure so make each and every child ready to fight against evil things stay connected for more crafts and educational activities all the best for the upcoming trainings thank you thank you one and all for giving me your great grand and strong support thank you once again this portfolio is presented by ri lakshmi nasama sgt mpbs kutur penkonda anantapur andhra pradesh stop child abuse